Question 2. Mrs Hayward and Mrs Geddes were sharing out the fruit in the staff room. Mrs Hayward had three times more pears than Mrs Geddes. They had 80 pears altogether. A. How many pears did Mrs Geddes have? And B. How many pears did Mrs Hayward have? The first thing you need to do is to find out who has the least amount of pears. As you can see in the question, Mrs Hayward had three times more pears than Mrs Geddes. So Mrs Geddes had the least amount, she had the smallest amount. So the next thing you're going to do is to write two labels, the first label being Mrs Geddes, as she had the smallest amount, and then the second label is going to be Mrs Hayward. Mrs Geddes had the least amount of pears. So we are going to represent Mrs Geddes with one block. Mrs Haywood had three times as many pears as Mrs Geddes. So we are going to represent Mrs Haywood with three blocks. Two, three. Now together, Mrs. Geddes and Mrs. Haywood had eighty pairs. Looking at the diagram, you can see there are one, two, three four blocks. So four blocks equals 80. Four blocks. Equal 80. Therefore if four blocks equal 80, one block is equal to 80 divided by 4. 4 goes into 80 20 times. So we can see that one block equals 20 pairs. I'm going to put that on the diagram. We're now going to answer the question. So bring up the question. A. How many pairs did Mrs Geddes have? Well, we can see from the block that Mrs Geddes had 20 pairs. And B. How many pairs did Mrs Hayward have? 20 add 20 is 40, add 20 is 60. So Mrs Hayward had 60 pairs. We've now solved and answered the word problem. Question 2 using the algebraic method. The first thing we need to do is to find out who has the least amount of pairs. And we can see that Mrs Hayward has three times more pairs than Mrs Geddes. So Mrs Geddes has the least amount of pairs. So we're going to look at the steps. Step 1. Name only one variable and we're going to use the variable x throughout this course. It is usually the smallest quantity and the smallest quantity of pairs is Mrs Geddes. So step one, Mrs Geddes 
expression for Mrs. Geddes. Now let's look at step two. Step two. Define the other unknowns in terms of x. Well, the other unknown quantity are Mrs. Haywood's pairs. So step two. Mrs. Haywood's pairs. equals. And we've got to define it in terms of Mrs. Geddes. Well, Mrs. Haywood had three times more pairs than Mrs. Geddes. So Mrs. Haywood has three times Mrs. Geddes's quantity, which is three times x is three x. So now we've written an expression for Mrs. Haywood and we've written an expression for Mrs. Geddes. Step 3. Create an equation and solve it. Find out what x is. So step 3. We're going to create an equation. Putting it in words, Mrs. Geddes plus Mrs. Haywood equals 80 pairs. So we're going to put the expressions into an equation. So we're going to have Mrs. Geddes, who is x add Mrs. Haywood, who is 3x, and together they have 80 pairs. The next thing we have to do is to add like terms. We have x plus 3x. Now x has an invisible one in front, so 1x add 3x gives us 4x. So 4x equals 80. Now we need to get the x on its own. Here's the x. We need to have that x on its own. So we need to get rid of the 4. In order to get rid of the 4, we need to undo the multiplication because it's 4 times x. We need to undo the multiplication. So we divide both sides of the equation by 4. So we divide the left hand side by 4 and we divide the right hand side by 4. We can then start to divide. 4 goes into 4 once. 4 goes into 4 once. We are left with 1x. So we'll put that down. x equals 4 goes into 4 once. 4 goes into 80. 20 times. 20 times. 4 goes into the 80 20 times. So x is equal to 20. We have solved the equation. So let's now look at step 4. Step 4. Substitute the variable x back into the unknown expressions to answer the question. So we're going to substitute it back into the expressions. So 4. We know that Mrs. Geddes is x. 
So we know that Mrs. Geddes is 20. So we can answer part A of the question. How many pairs did Mrs. Geddes have? Well, she had 20. And part B. How many pairs did Mrs. Hayward have? She had 3x. She had 3x. 3x. Mrs. Hayward had 3x. So we're going to substitute the x for 20. So she had 3 times 20 equals 60. So we've substituted the value for x back into the expression. So Mrs. Hayward had 60 pairs and Mrs. Geddes had 20. We have solved the word problem algebraically.